looks like tonight is the night. We've got a heavy rainstorm coming in. I've got the go next tent all set up. As you guys remember, I treated it as heavy as I could, as best as I could. Although it wasn't supposed to be done that way, we're gonna see if it works tonight. Now I'm gonna take a look around. Right now, it's, I did get the, uh, the tent a little wet because there's so much moisture in the ground when I laid it out. A little bit got on, but already where I saw earlier, it's dry. But I'm gonna show you real quick. We got a huge storm event coming in. As you guys can see, I've probably posted a video up already. I've probably posted a video up already. It is extremely like London foggy thing going on tonight. It's really eerie outside. But we're expecting a downpour of rain tonight. You no, know, I love this Go Next tent. If it fails, I'll just end up using it as a a day tent or you know, maybe a beach tent or just something for the grandkids and I to play in, but no matter what I'm going to keep it if it, even if it fails tonight, but we're going to see if that spray method worked. And as I said in the future, I'm looking at a couple of one Tigris uh, TP tents to get because I love this, this whole surface area to use. And the fact that it has the one pole design makes it really sturdy. All right, guys, rain's coming in. I'll bring you back in a little bit. Just look how the water is beating off it. Watch when I shake it. How it rolls down. That treatment really, really bonded with this material. Just gonna go in and check it out. We got heavy, heavy rains last night. Sometimes it downpoured, sounded like buckets for like 20 minutes and then sometimes it slacked off and only once I came out to check it make sure it was okay staked out because we've had so much rain in the last week that I wanted to make sure that the stakes would hold they did they were fine and I can't deny it while I was out here I pulled up the little uh, patch where the pipe comes up when you make it to a hot tent I peeked inside and it was still dry then that was only like three hours in but of course we know how the night goes let's see what happened Let's see what she's got in store for us. I'm really excited. I'm dripping water in now. I'm getting some on my little piece of plastic. Ah, put that back. All right. And of course, I forgot to mention one bad thing is, is when you undo the fly on any of these type of tents where there's no vestibule, it goes right in the tent. Always remember that. So let's go in. Okay. Let me get the camera situated. I don't want you guys to hear a bunch of noise. Okay. Window. That is just Velcroed shut. There's no leaking there. There's no leaking at the vents. You got one here, of course, and one here. And there is no leaking at the top. And remember, I heavily sprayed that top. Heavily sprayed it. And it's dry as a bone. And all the panels are excellent too, and the door is as well. I just took my hand around every panel in here. Everything is dry. And I think after a period of time of having that spray on, the material feels a little different. I can't describe it, you'd have to feel it, but it doesn't feel the same as it did before. Of course, every seam in here is taped. That was, we already knew, and we knew that worked, but it didn't matter when the water was permeating the material. Not now. This tent now has been saved. It's fully functional. I can't wait to use it again. I'm looking forward to it. So let's sum it up. First of all, the tent. Took it out on a dry camp. Went great, loved it. Loved the space. I loved how different it was, or at least it was different to me than other uh, tents I've been used to. Then I took it out for a rain test. On a heavy night with heavy rain, it failed miserably. Water was everywhere in this tent. It was through the walls. It was running down the walls and streams because it had gotten through the material. And since uh, that time I bought this tent, 
Godex no longer has this tent on any website. If you don't already have this tent, I don't see you being able to get it in the, in the future unless Godex or another company picks it up, does something with it. Okay, so did that. And of course, I took it out a couple months later, sealed the heck out of this thing with some Kansas sealer. Please, if you haven't seen it, go watch the video. I'll put the card up top uh, and then let it dry very well. I soaked the heck out of this thing, let it dry well and packed it away and I've been waiting. Life's events got in the way, of course, we know how that is, and my family is dealing with a loss right now, but I was able to get this test in because of the long stretch of bad weather we're having. It rocked. It's doing great. I am so happy. So yes, Go Next is back on the market. I will be using this in some upcoming adventures. I even have some hot tent ideas to do, but I wanted to do them with this tent, not with any smaller tent. Still have plans on getting more TP tents, just because I love the style. It's amazing. I never knew these tents had so much uh, floor area. So I think this would be a great idea for my wife and I on uh, future adventures. If I can still get her on the channel, she's still a little shy. But uh, guys, the go next past with flying colors. Now, I don't think that treatment is gonna last long on this tent. It could, it, hey, it could surprise me. That treatment could last me five years and still be fine. But I'm just gonna play with the odds and say the treatment will probably fail in two to three years of regular use because we know I didn't use that product for what it was designed to do. I kind of pushed it to the limit to see if it would work and it did. I got the Go Next back. She's going to be out soon. Guys, thanks for watching this craziness of this adventure of this Go Next tent. Please like, share, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps our channel grow and helps me share more of my adventures and fun. I'll talk to you guys again real soon. I'm out.